Hello, and thank you for joining me. I got something real exciting going on here. I'm gonna jump right into it. My last video, I was showing you this uh, layers of tissue that are the deep layered tissue, and I'm gonna get away from that for a minute, but we'll get back to it. Uh, anyway, these layers of tissue are I'm gonna show you. They're part of. Uh, I'll show you this right here. Okay, what I was gonna show you is those layers of tissue are right here, and this is all eroded off. Those other layers. Here's one, and they go just like this, and that's part of it. They would have been all in here just like that, and I'll show you this next time we get into this which be a couple videos, but for now I'm going to take you somewhere else where I was today. I was 100 miles from home and I got some tendon balls I'm going to bring to you. Yeah, tendon balls. Okay, Roger Spur put up some videos the other day and he had a whole bunch of tendon balls. This is the type of tendon ball that I have that I'm going to bring into you. They come off in chunks exactly like this one. If all the rest of these were back on here, it would be gray and they'd be like the one I'm going to show you. But he has a bunch of tendon balls on here. That's why I'm using his right now because I don't have any to show besides what I have. Okay, he's got another one here. This is how they uh, this one looks like it has tissue on it to me uh, around the edges. I'm not sure. It looks like it could be worn too, but it looks like it's still got some tissue. Uh, mine, the ones I have, they break off in the patterns like this also a little. They make, they're all in different uh, shapes and sizes and patterns. They're not all identical because different sizes or types of creatures, I believe, are different parts of the body. I'm not sure. But I noticed they are different in different, you know, situations. Okay, I have seen them like this too with the indentations on them and still got the stuff at the top like I've seen on the ones I'm going to show you I have. Mine are a little bit different than this though. But I'm going to get to them right now and uh, really good stuff. I was excited today. I think I found four of them. Okay, last one here and I'm getting my video. So yeah, tendon balls. That's where I'm headed now. Different styles. And uh, pretty exciting today. I had some pretty good stuff to look at. Alright, let's get to her. Uh, one more thing before I go that way I don't have to go up to here uh, mystery in Indonesia decoded watch his that way I don't have to show you all this stuff <laughs> besides he does a better job explaining it and show you the stuff anyway but anyway I gotta get this video going it'll be too long it takes me eight hours to upload it all right let's get started okay, so here's a picture of the one of my found today and I was up the coast today and I got it in the video also the more close-up Here's another one. It's more eroded and stuff. And then I got another one right beside it. Right here. And then uh, I got another one I'm standing on in the video. So I'll get it started. Alright, thanks for joining me. Okay, in one of my past videos, uh, Fogarty Beach Mud Fossil Biology, there's two tendon balls right here that we're investigating. These are massive. That one right there is huge. So I'll show you that real quick. It's a massive tendon ball here, the one we found at Scott Wiles. This has been a while back, but you can see what it looks like there. And it's like that one you've seen that Roger has in his, which kind of tore apart. I showed you that first one. Okay, there was actually three of these tendon balls there, and this is the uh, third one over. Okay, and I'll show you the ones I was looking at today. Something else I wanted to add. Uh, do you notice the color of this is different than the color of this other one here? If you notice, this is uh, this one hasn't dried out. It's drying in places, but the reason for that is the, one, the other ones are up higher on the, the, be, the, the shoreline, and so they're not in the water as much. And you can see this one's starting to dry out, but the ones that are dried out, they're higher up on the shoreline. They're more gray. Uh, they're, on, they're not under the water as much. That's why you see the different colors, just because they're not saturated with water as much as the one down <clears throat> lower on the shoreline you see this one's a lot, lot uh, lighter colored because it's a lot further up on the shoreline so it doesn't it's not under the water as much as the other ones that's why they're different colored okay now in the footage I'm getting ready to show you that I took you got these two tendon balls here the third one's up here now I'm not sure if this is the material that these tendon balls were hooked into here or if they fell out of this material here and this is part of the matting. Um, this looks like it might be down here because I got interstitching balls back in behind all this stuff over this direction. Um, I'll show you that. Hold on just a sec. Okay, in this video I point out there's interstitching here. Now I believe it could have been up higher and it collapsed down on top of this. Looks like some kind of fabric, those tendon balls, might be anchored in here. Here's another shot of it to the left of those, those two tendon balls down by the water. Uh, this, might, this is going to run up underneath of this here up to this head wall, I believe, over in here. 
You can actually see the other tendon ball sitting there. So I don't know if they were in here, or anchored in here and fell out. Uh, this was the matting, the, 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 I'm not sure what I'm even trying to say here. This, this stuff down below runs up into this. So I'm not sure if that tendon balls were in this anchored to the matting below or the other way around. Okay, there's those two tendon balls, the third one's that way. So this stuff here is going to run up underneath this sand right here. And so I'm trying to figure out if these tendon balls were, you know, anchored inside that, uh, this fabric here or this fabric here. Because this fabric here, I'll show you something. Okay, there's those two tendon balls. See how this fabric is formed? And then this one lays, looks like almost lays on top of it. And this one back here lays on top of it. I could be wrong, but those look like fibro bands to me. Um, I'm not sure, though. Anyway, all right. You have a look for yourself. You'll be able to see. But uh, see this material in here? I'm just wondering what this material in here is. It's got me kind of stumped. Uh, this is uh, more fibrous, tendinous material of uh, some kind here. Okay, this is a picture of one of the pictures in part of the body where the tendon balls anchor in the strap, and here's uh, over here where it's tore out of looks like the bone or where I'm trying to figure out. If I'm looking at this part here I've got, or if I've got this matting here that the tendon balls are anchored in. So that's what I've been trying to figure out also if that material is there, or it could be a different part of the body and looks different. So I'm, I'm that's what I'm trying to figure out and trying to understand myself right now. So. I'm trying to figure out if it's this that they're in, or if this material down in here that they're in, or uh, maybe not both, and just clap down on something else because uh, uh, it decayed. But that's what I'm working with right now. But that's where the tendon balls anchor, and then anchor over here also. But I'll go ahead and get my video started and run this footage, and all right, enjoy, and I hope um, it's informative to you. Okay, I'm back down at the Oregon coast and I want to get pictures and stuff. I got a tendon ball here I want to get on video so you can see it. And then I want to get pictures of it. Here's one tendon ball here. And I got two more down here. <coughs> I got one right here and one right here. You can see the same pattern right there. And this is another tendon ball. And I'm on top of this one though, and it's busted open too. But this is another tendon ball. Just like the one up there. That's a smaller one there. So I'm gonna go down here. And that one's all busted open. Oh, it's so cool. So okay, I got another one here. Another tendon ball, it's all busted up. Okay, I got I got interstitching out here these balls. I got that too. You can see it right in there. Some there. All these right in here. And I'm not sure what the rest of this matting is. I'm trying to find another tits more tendon balls. Now I gotta get back down the coast for this low tide. I'm trying to get to a certain spot and find an artery. So I gotta get going, huffing it. Okay, I just showed you that tendon ball up there and these two here. I can get out over here and get an angle on this one and get a better shot. You can see how round it is, everything. There's a tendon ball, two of them actually, two small ones. That one there, that one there, and you got that one up there. But those are tendon balls. Okay, I gotta hoof it down the coast. And that there's a piece of concrete. People have been shoring up their houses because they're sliding off into the oceans. <laughs> or the ocean, oceans. <laughs> Singular, I guess, huh? Okay, I gotta get going. <laughs> 